Hello everyone, it is Debbie again. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Um, I just thought I would come in and talk about a few things. So first, let me show you what my temperature blanket's looking like. Um, since I changed it, um, it's really, I really like the way it's coming out. So it's getting bigger now. It's gonna be pretty big. Um, so I'm still believing I'm gonna have to make two. But yeah, I like the way the colors look together. And then this, this lilac right here just kinda adds a little extra to it, cuts some of that dark, but it ended up being only one day it got cold enough to use that. So that's coming along nicely. And then, I don't remember if I told y'all this in the last video or not, but I was making this ball of yarn fell. Okay, I was making this blanket for my husband and I had gotten some woolies, lion brand woolies, and it was on sale at Walmart and so I picked up two skeins um, and was making this blanket. It's it's pretty wide. So it's it's like my arm spans wide. And I was running out of yarn and I didn't think it was big enough. It's supposed to be a foot blanket. My husband's feet get cold at night when he's sleeping. I don't know. I guess that's an older thing. He never had that before. But anyway, so I'm running out. I ran out of yarn. And so he just said, use whatever you got in the closet. So we picked up some, this is like a, a, a creamy white. And then this is like a gold and then this blue, and I'm gonna finish that off. But, um, so this is another whip I have going on. Um, I don't know if when I finish with this blue, I have this much left of this blue. Um, if I'm going to add some more to it, I'll go look and see what I have in my stash and add to it, or if it might be just big enough the way it is. So I was watching um, Terry from the Yarn, uh, Yarn, Joy, Yarn Joy podcast yesterday, and she was doing a crochet along for this. It's called Rectangles and Squares Throw, and it's a free pattern on Yarn Inspirations, and this is the pattern. So, but she's doing it um, to use up some of her, her, her stash and her little um, balls that she's got left over. So, um, so her leftover yarn. So we're going, I was thinking, and I have two skeins. I used a little bit of this one. Seems like I used more than I thought. But I used a little bit of this one, which is uh, a Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel in Peach Orchid Paradise, um, and it's a wasted, uh, four, medium four weight, 100% acrylic, and uh, one skein has 355 yards. Now, um, the blanket, they show you how to sew it together once you make all your squares, and it's got um, small granny squares in two different colors, it's got large granny squares, and then it's got rectangles. Well, I was just going to do them all in this color. Because um, I have two skeins of this. And I won this from Rose, from Rose Likes Crochet. Um, so if you haven't seen her channel, go check that out. But uh, she has a really nice channel. And check out uh, Yarn, uh, Yarn Dry, Terry at Yarn Dry Podcast. So, what I was thinking I might do, which is what she said she was going to do, she was just going to make it this size. Like, she was going to leave off this top part and just make it this bottom part. So, I might make the squares to make it that size because I was thinking of throwing it, uh, like, over the top of the couch or whatever just to have it um, available if someone's kind of chilly in the house or whatever or just want to lay down on the couch and take a quick nap or whatever. Um, anyway, so I was just going to make it in the smaller size, like she was doing, and, um, 
if I have enough yarn left over, I would go ahead and do the, the, the rest of them. So, <clears throat> just to use up some stash, my plan was to use this yarn for the squares and the rectangles in this colorway. And then um, I was going to, because I have a bunch of this, this is a Caron One Pounder, which is also a four weight, 100% acrylic. Um, so I was going to sew all the squares and rectangles together with this to kind of use up some of my stash and hopefully get some of that pile in my corner in my closet going away but i have this plus i have another little ball of it uh because when i bought these i did not realize that i didn't need as much as i bought because i was just starting to crochet and didn't realize what i was making wasn't going to use that much of this um not, I'm not real crazy about using black. I can't see it. You know, I used to have really, really good eyes when I was young. Not so much now that I'm older. But anyway, if anyone wants to join in, uh, y'all go to Terry at, uh, she calls it the Yarn Joy Podcast, and um, and check it in. You, can, you know, you can join in on her um, her crochet along. Um, she's also got some other interesting things going on. If you're interested in joining in, she has a really good channel. I really enjoy watching her. So, um, it's kind of a short video today. Um, I'm needing some subscribers. So if you want to share, um, when we hit 150, I'm planning on doing a giveaway. I got a few things in mind that I want to give away. Um, but we need to get to that 150 mark. I think we're at... 72 67 something like that i know there was a seven in it um so if y'all wanna um try and, and get me up there to 150 share uh like subscribe and um, don't forget to click that little bell that way you get a notification every time i upload a new video um like i said this is a short one today but i just thought you know let me put up a video it's been a while since I put up my last one um and I just wanted to let y'all know what I was up to if y'all wanted to join along with Terry in this crochet along so I think you can post pictures um I don't know if she has a Facebook page but I know she said you can email her pictures of your um, blanket so yeah come on and join in and this ought to be fun um I'm having um, more whips than I need but that's okay we'll get them done and we'll get some of this stash busted bye y'all y'all have a wonderful day and god bless